and welcome to another Great Guitars video. These are two guitars that, um, two guitars coming up that are on the online store. As of, uh, they're on there already. They went on on uh, two days ago. So this is a Avril model, and we've made it in this amazing surf green, tortoiseshell guard. It has a um, regular, non-roasted, but still quarter saw and flame maple neck. Um, it has bare knuckle boot camp pickups in it. They are both the old guard, or are they true grit? No, they're true grit, I do apologize. They're true grit, the middle kind of strength pickups. And they sound great in this kind of guitar. This is a Goto Intune bridge, with these compensated vintage saddles, which sounds great. CTS pot, CRL switch, all that kind of stuff. It has these staggered Goto vintage star tuners, which means string tree is unnecessary, which is always looks quite nice, I think. Has our new gold decal logo on the headstock. And this is a the Slim Jim guitar. This Telecaster body is about 10% slimmer than usual. And it has a really uh, defined cutaway here. So when you play it, this, this guitar, it really disappears into your body. So if you're after a kind of lightweight, easy playing Telecaster, if you play lots of gigs, lots of rehearsals, sat in the studio a lot, this is a very nice Telecaster to do that with. So I started off playing some um, Chili Peppers. Hopefully this video won't get taken down or whatever. Um, on the neck pickup. So I'm playing through a Princeton Reverb amp. It is... Kind of set up pretty normal, treble and bass on about six or seven, and there's this much reverb, which is uh, just about enough. So if I take you through the other sounds, all that last bit was all in the neck pickup. So here's the middle, both pickups on at once, which I super like. Um... Bridge pickup has the usual kind of what you'd expect. <laughs> nice and bright. Now with this guitar, um, what I've done is wired the tone control to just the bridge pickup. That's something which, um, when you start combining different neck pickups on a, on a T-style guitar, be it P90s or Filtertrons or whatever, you get that problem where sometimes you set the, your amp so your neck pickup sounds nice and bright and glassy. You go back to bridge pickup, I guess, sound a bit too bright. So this guitar... Just to the bridge. So now, take a bit of that super bright frequencies down, then you click back to the neck pickup. You haven't lost any of that nice, nice brilliant clarity. And in the bridge, in the middle, sorry, sorry, same kind of thing. So a quite useful um, addition. I'm going to add a bit of drive. I'm using a Hudson sidecar, which is a germanium clipping overdrive. I really like it because it really responds well to the uh, volume control. So what I'll do is I'll play a little bit um, and show you the range of the pickups. So this is the bridge pickup. 
Um, I'll put the tone all the way up just so you know you could decide for yourselves. So this is a bit of the sidecar of the bridge pickup. <laughs> So, I'll just uh, roll the volume down a little bit. I'll, I'll turn the gain up a little bit. And just give you a bit of the range of the volume part here with the bridge pickup. Here we go. If I start quite high. So we've got a lot of usable sounds in this guitar. So it is nitrocellulose, surf green, slim body, big cutaway, super comfy, go to bridge, bare knuckle pickups, all the right stuff. It's the base price of 2700 with the Hiscox hard flight case. There's one of these in the shop for now. So if you're after a very versatile, beautiful T-type guitar, Go head over to greyguitars.london to have to check on the guitar store page on our site. Okay, thanks very much.